the four steps to letting go of a relationship, attachment, outcome, or any kind of problem that you entertain in your consciousness process. So in this video, my friend, I will explain to you what are the four steps you will pass through while letting go of any outcome, attachment, relationship, like problem that you're constantly entertaining. And I have discovered these four steps, like this process through working with the letting go technique of Dr. David Hawkins for like six to seven years already. And it always goes like that. It's like as simple as those four steps that I'll explain to you. So after you go through them, after checking out this video, I highly encourage you, my friend, I challenge you, give this a try and you'll see how effortless letting go becomes. That being the case, let's directly get into the topic and uh, I'll explain to you first how they work. I will associate it with some other ideas so that you get a like bigger understanding of why these four steps works. And by the end, I will ask you like, what is the, we'll start this process. And then like by the end of the video, you will start this process and then you can continue it afterwards. So we will start with the first and second step and then you continue doing it on your own. That being the case, let's, let's go through these four steps. So first of all, you need to become aware, like you need to bring in consciousness. What is the problem, attachment, person, relationship or outcome that you need to let go of. So just to give you an example of how that works, let's say that you, you're really attached to a desire, you, a desire you have of something that you want to happen. And then you bring that in awareness. So it's like you just think of the desire. Or let's say you're, you're really attached to a problem that you experience on a consistent basis and you don't know why it happens. You don't understand it. So you just bring in awareness this problem. Or let's say your mind is constantly thinking of some person and like it always makes you feel um, like worried. It always makes you feel, ang feel, feel anxious, insecure or something like that. So you bring in consciousness that person. This is the first step. So why is that important? Well, basically by bringing into consciousness what you need to let go of. It can be the desire you have. It can be the goal you have. It can be some outcome that you're attached to, some relationship, some person, whatever it is, by bringing it into consciousness, like it naturally comes with the sensations that you feel behind it. So once you bring that object in consciousness, it will come with the sensations that you have attached to that, to the beliefs you have of that object in consciousness, which is basically the second step. In the second step of this process, now that you have brought in consciousness what you'll be letting go of, now you need to just transition your awareness. And here is the, like the tricky part. Once you bring in your mind, what you, what you'll be letting go of. Now you need to understand that you cannot let go of it in your mind because all the thoughts that you have related to that problem, outcome, person, relationship, whatever it is, attachment, whatever it is that you'll be letting go of, all the thoughts that you have of that, they're running on autopilot. So, when you think about those thoughts, you'll never find a, like a solution there. That's why the second step is basically to transition your awareness from thinking to feeling, to being. So basically you check out with your body, check in with your body so that you see where do you feel sensations? Like where is the resistance? Where are the emotions behind this attachment? And now it can be in your stomach, for example, in your heart, it can be somewhere in your back. It can be on your waist, left, left side, right side. Like there is a specific place, specific location where there, there will be like a complex of different sensations that you need to become aware of because those sensations, they contain the energy that is charging this problem, this attachment in your mind. So when you become aware of the sensations, you're actually becoming aware of the core of that problem. And here is what Einstein said. Basically, Einstein said that you cannot fix a problem from the same level of consciousness that created it. Meaning that you cannot find a solution of what you'll be letting go of if you think about it. That's why in the second step, you transition to just being, to seeing where are the sensations that are reflecting this attachment in your body. Where do they originate from? 
and you need to find that location. Somewhere in your body, there will be resistance. Like some place, it will be stiff. It will feel like, um, yeah, it will feel like there is some force, some energy. And so this is where the process actually begins. Like first, you become aware of the problem. Second, you see how it feels in your body. And now the third part, the third step here is basically where the process begins. In the third step, you need to start asking questions to that sensation. And it's really crucial to understand that you ask questions not to, the, to your mind, but you ask questions to the sensations in your body. Why is that the case? Well, because quantum physics has already proven to us, like the scientists who are doing, that, who are doing consistent research has already proven to us that energy can, contains information. Like particles, they can either be wave or particles, meaning that every, every single resistant energy that you can feel within your body contains the information of why it is there, meaning that you can ask it questions. This energy that you have just become aware of in your body, it is intelligent. It knows more than your conscious mind. This is basically your subconscious, so you can communicate with your subconscious this way. And so you start asking it questions. And there are two main questions that you can ask, which can basically, you can just, um, you can just repeat them in your mind consistently. But again, it's really crucial to, crucial to understand that the questions, they're focused to that place within your body. They're not focused on your mind. They're focused on that energy. So it's like you're directing, you're observing that energy. It's almost as if, imagine as if you're looking through it you're looking at that energy in your body through a magnifying glass. Then you're directing a question through that magnif magnifying glass directly in the core of that sensation. And you're looking for answers, not from your mind, but from that energy, which will start moving. This is basically where the process begins. So here are the two question, questions. First of all, you ask it, who are you? Now tell me, who are you? And you ask that question to the sensation. You ask that question because you want, to, you want to understand what is the story? Like, what is the story behind this attachment? What is the story behind this outcome? What is, what is the story behind this person? What, what is the story that you're attached to? So that's why you ask it, who are you? Tell me, who are you? And then the second question you can also ask is why you are here. So who are you? Why you are here? Tell me, who are you? And tell me, why are you here? Who are you again? And why are you here? And you consistently repeat those questions over and over again, directing them to the sensations within your body. This is really crucial to understand. You don't ask them in your mind. So it's not like you're, you're running a test or something and you want to find the right answer. There is no right answer. It's, it's actually, it's as contradictory as this sounds. You're looking for the most illogical answer because it comes from your subconscious. And it, this is a funny story, but there was one friend that I was teaching the letting go technique to. And like he was always um, like when he was communicating with the sensations in your body, in his body, he was always got, getting in his mind of doing that process. And whenever he was like getting an answer that was illogical, he was just rejecting it. So he was basically saying, no, this doesn't make sense. But it's, it is supposed to not make sense. You're getting to know yourself better. You're connecting with that information behind the energy in that resisted emotions, in that resisted energy behind the emotion, behind the sensation. So you're basically looking for the most illogical answer. And so I told him that I was just, I was just telling him, but my friend, it's like the purpose of this technique is to understand what you don't know about the problem, because this is, again, you can't fix a problem from the same level of consciousness that created it. So you shouldn't be looking for what is logical. In fact, you should be looking for what is illogical. And so I gave him that, that understanding that instead of looking for what is logical and then rejecting it as if it wasn't important, I told him, look for the most illogical answer while you're like inquiring behind why this feeling, why this sensation is there. So you do the same by asking these two questions. Who are you? Why are you here? You are not looking for logic. You're looking for truth. You're looking for movement of energy. And so because this third step, it will naturally lead to the fourth step, which is basically where the surrender happens, where the letting go happens. And the fourth step, 
is basically because when you start asking these questions, you'll find that a lot of images, a lot of stories, a lot of thought forms start coming in your mind. And so in the fourth step, you basically let go of the images, let go of the stories and let go of the um, like all the thought forms that, that come up in your mind. And then you refocus your awareness back to the sensation. So it's like the fourth step, it almost includes two steps. You become aware of the stories in your mind that your mind has attached to this sensation. And now this sensation, this, this emotion is what is charging those images, those, those thought forms, those stories. And so they will start coming up in your mind. But here is the secret. You don't focus again in your mind. Whenever you find yourself that your mind is like unfolding this story behind the sensation, then you refocus your awareness back on the sensation. And then you continue with the third step. So the third and the fourth step, they're running in a cycle. So basically, whenever a story comes up, you come back to the sensation again. And then you ask it, tell me, who are you deeply? So to every answer you get, you ask the question again to the sensation. Who are you? Why are you here? Who are you? Why are you here? And then you are looking for everything that you don't know. So this is where the letting go happens. Because naturally, like when we are not surrendering, we're basically recycling these stories, these uh, images that come up in our, in our minds. And now I'm telling you to do exactly the opposite. Whenever a story or an image comes up, you focus back on the sensation. And then you continue asking it, who are you? Why are you here? So you let go of that resisted, that, like, um, that energy that is just staying in, stuck in one place. And so by being aware of the sensation, you're letting go of the emotional energy that is charging all those stories all those images and so they will be like they will um naturally dissolve and so this sensation will also dissolve it will start moving and you start feeling whiter you start feeling at peace and this is how you know this process is working so basically the secret is that you ask the questions to the sensations and you consistently transition your awareness from thinking to feeling, thinking, feeling, thinking, feeling. Whenever you're thinking, that's the moment you go to feeling and start asking the question, who are you? Why are you here? This is everything, my friend. As simple as that sounds. This is the whole process. So when you try those four steps, whenever like some resistance comes in your mind or like you think of something, you think of a thought form that says, this is not working. It's like, it's not supposed to be that way. Well, again, this is what's supposed to happen. So whenever a similar thought comes, you go back to the sensation and then you continue asking it, who are you? Why you are here? And then you start realizing things. Then you start like, you can start crying. You can start sweating. There is, those are the effects of letting go. But at the end of it, you feel whiter. And so this is how you know you have let go of the problem, attachment, person, outcome, whatever it is that you're letting go of. This is the process. Give it a try. I can promise you that it works because this is what I've been practicing and teaching to people. Like I've been practicing it for myself for the last six years and teaching it to people since the last three years or something. So I know how it works. Those four steps, I always go through them. Like whenever everything else doesn't work, letting go always does because it's as simple as what I shared with you. So my friend, if you're excited, give it a try. And now I told you, I want you to, I want to begin this process together with you in this video. So what is it that you want to let go of? Bring in awareness, the person, the outcome, the desire you have, the attachment to a problem you have. What is it that you want to let go of? Just bring it in your mind. And now how does your body feel about it? Where do you feel energy? Where do you feel the emotions in your body? Where is the location? I want you to see the sensations, like the location behind the sensations. Now stay there. And from there, start asking the questions. Who are you? Why are you here? And then you go through the process naturally by yourself. So this is, this is everything I wanted to share with you in this video, my friend. These are the four steps. Try them, give it a try. And then come back to the video and comment down below to let me know what have been your experience. I know how this works. So I would love to also see your, like how it works for you. And you can also inspire some other people who are watching this video to give it a try. That being the case, if you like this video, like it, comment down below once you try the process, subscribe to the channel if you are new to it. 
because in this channel we'll be talking everything about how to attract conscious uplifting and meaningful relationships with everybody in your life how to experience these kind of relationships with everybody and we will also be talking a lot of a lot about letting go war of assumption investigating different limiting beliefs so if self-awareness is important for you and if you want to experience healthier more meaningful and supportive relationships subscribe and i would love to see you around thank you so much for watching See you in the next video. Bye-bye for now. I love you.